Christo and Theo Menelo fell in love nearly a decade ago and have been married for four years. We never the discussion like, do you like children? And it's like always, how are we ever going to have our own children? And went through the whole thing of um, trying to adopt and stuff, but it's, it, was a bad, I will, it was a bad experience. They were then introduced to a woman who offered to be their surrogate mother. After multiple attempts, their surrogate fell pregnant with what they first believed were twins and later discovered were triplets. The babies were born in July, two months premature. First time you saw them, how did you feel? Uh, yes, I was we were speechless. Um, I think I it's actually just started theater, crying yeah. out. We were in theatre and after the whole birth started, actually when the birth was done, we were in theatre while the whole procedure were done. And when the last baby came out and they put them on the, on the start cleaning them and I went and stood next to Thea and then I realized this we is it. We started crying, we couldn't, we just hold each other. While Joshua and Kate are healthy, baby Zoe has a heart condition which nearly cost the little girl her life. Her father is still haunted by the memory of his daughter's cardiac arrest. And when I took her, I thought to myself, but she's, she's breathing heavily. Her breathing is not right. And I sat down with her. And he phoned and, me. Um, I, I stood up and when I got up, I, I picked up a little. I mean, I, I've got a funny habit of when, when I hold them on, on, on my chest, I usually pick up their arms, that their arms are upright like this and not ever hanging. And when I picked up her arm, her arm just dropped. And I realized, but she hasn't even got, got the strength to keep her arm up. He rushed the baby to hospital where the doctor on call told him that there wasn't anything he could do. It would be nurses and paramedics who kept the baby alive before she was airlifted to another hospital. Miraculously, baby Zoe suffered no brain damage and will be undergoing surgery this week to repair multiple heart problems. All her fathers can do now, they say, is pray that the operation is successful and they have a lot of people behind them. I, I received on Facebook over 500 messages and there was a girl and that's, that's 12 years old. 12 years old girl. She told me she knows she's gay. She's tried to commit suicide twice and because she knew she never, because she loved children. And this means if we can have a surrogate, it means she can buy a sperm and also one day they become a mommy. She's 12 years old. Theo and Christo Menelo's determination to have children and their obvious love for their babies have challenged stereotypes about the LGBTI community and, perhaps more importantly, have offered that same community some hope. Karen Morn, Johannesburg.